What's up, everyone? Welcome to an edition of Inside Jokes RV. This is yours truly, Joe Shelton. And as you can see right here in my background, you see those curtains right here. I like that. Privacy curtains. That's the subject of this video. All right. As you can see, these privacy curtains here. And this one's in pretty good shape. It's the other one over here I already took down. It was in pretty bad shape. I took them off. Uh, used RV, 2014 model. I'm sure these are the curtains that came with it. Took them off, washed them. And as you can see here, they're starting that little cotton backing of that starting to come out. The other one over on the right side, left side, looks worse. I'll put a picture where you can see that here. But you can see that starts to peel. From the outside, it looks okay. But from the inside, you know, I wanted to clean it up. So, um, started searching for Amazon places and I really didn't see anybody who sells like these curtains like this. I'm pretty sure there's a RV site or something you can go to, but just searching Google and Amazon, I put in RV privacy curtains. I saw a couple of things uh, on Amazon, but not necessarily this. And, um, uh, so I had to come up with a remedy how I'm gonna replace these curtains. So this is what I did right here. Me and my RV. Me and my RV. Me and my RV. All right, what you gonna need for this project? I got these, they're Eclipse Blackout, one rod pocket panel and you can see I got the 80 inch 84 inch length and that's horizontally and they are 42 inches wide now if you get this exact measurement you will need three of these these were $11 at Walmart so you will need three of these to cover a class A uh, window so three of these also, you need, um, this is optional, but a sewing machine. If you want to make your seams and things look pretty neat and nice, a sewing machine is recommended. But you can, if you want to use go with something like a, a hot glue gun, some industrial skin, uh, glue gun, glue sticks, you can do that. Use it with that to make your seams good. And that's all you really need. That's all I want to use. Of course, scissors and things, your thread. And see, I got my thread that matched the color of my curtain. So, if you want to sew the machine, you want to get some stick thread that, match, that matches your uh, color of your uh, curtains. All right, for clarification, let's break it down, summarize what I did again. All right, here is here is the what I bought from Walmart. You see, it's an 84 length, 84 length, and 42 inches wide. All right, so you see how these curtains are, are hanging uh, vertically from the pole. So if we know that the the curtain, privacy curtain in a class A RV is about 10 feet, nine feet, about nine feet, 10 feet long. So I got these three of these curtains um, and I'm going to use them horizontally. So, and then, so with three, two, uh, on the third one, I just cut it in half and I sold it to the end of one of these to get my 10 feet. Now, as far as the width wise, I just folded over about four inches. So, to uh, get close to the original width. So, this is what I did. So you can see here, hold on, the wind is blowing a little bit. As you can see, there's the vertical curtain. That's one panel right there. That's one 84 inch. Here's half of the another vertical. So what I did, I sewed that end onto that. You see the big lip here? I folded about four or five inches of it to get close to that width of the original. Ran a, uh, sold it from all a seam all the way down here. Another sewing machine seam right here. 
uh, and that got me my 10 feet length, length, uh, length of the curtain. So this little white thing here, this was on the original RV curtain. And this is where you connect those little plastic tabs where it just sort of rolls around. So I took a little razor blade and snipped threads off the original and just ripped that off the original. And then came back, you can see the little sole right there. I just sold that on to the new curtain. And then I'm gonna have to go buy a few more of those little things because they uh, lost misplaced and some of them were already missing. So uh, that's a summary of what I did. Now you probably, if you don't have a sewing machine, you could probably use a good standard hot glue gun. You could probably get good results. Um, Again, the total cost one panel was eleven dollars. I needed three panels, so roughly I got brown thread to match that. So I'm gonna say tax and everything. I'm gonna say thirty-five, thirty-six dollars for everything. And uh, that's uh, assuming you already have like a sewing machine, all the other stuff in, in hand. But thirty-five dollars a whole new set of privacy curtains. And the good thing about this is, you go to Walmart, you can, there's tons of selections that you can pick from, color-wise, scheme-wise, pattern-wise. If you want something with a little more uh, decorative pattern on it, you can, I mean, it's endless of what you, whatever you choose to do. As long as you got that, that, that end, the, the, the length and the width, you can, you can um, spruce up, the look of your rig just by you know under forty dollars so uh leave me some comments some um uh, next clip i'll show you them actually hanging up and uh look on the inside and the outside leave me some comments some things if you've done something differently and uh, uh what you would have done uh hopefully those creases will fall out over time in the sun hopefully they'll fall out but Cost effective, I say it took me about, I mean, probably under 30 minutes to really do this. To make two big four panels, you know, the, the time is uh, as far as setting up the sewing machine, getting that thread with a needle. All right, here's what it looks like with both panels installed. Looks pretty damn good. Now, I am missing a couple of those little the little rollers that you see sagging right here. I'm missing probably one, two, three, four, five, maybe about 10 of those rollers. And once I get all those, I order some off Amazon. Once I get those rollers and put them on there, it'll bring everything up snug. But man, that looks pretty good. Again, under 40 bucks, freshened up. It's dark outside, so I don't know if you can really be able to tell from the outside look, but I'll definitely get a shot from the daytime. And uh, it's pretty damn good. Last thing I gotta do, I forgot, is uh, this is little, I guess the little sconce thing to hold the curtain back. So I brought another little panel to uh, make that match everything. So that's really nothing else. And also I need to put some Velcro strips on here to hold those two ends together. But it looks pretty good. Again, hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next DIY project. Peace. All right, everyone, this is how they look in the daytime, all the way around. all the way around. I'm hoping those creases will fall out over time, but hey, not worry about it. That is. Me and my RV.